Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Taking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette Syndrome. Today, we have my fiance. Will is here. That's me. He's here, guys. And if you don't know us, my name is Carly. As I said, this is Will. And we both have Tourette Syndrome. You guys know that Will and I have been together for a while now. He gave me a ring. He liked it. He put a ring on it. And we are now... Car. It's funny! Anywho, he liked it. He put a ring on it. Babe! So as I said, we both have Tourette Syndrome. The goal of my channel here is to provide education about Tourette's and to break the stigma... <sighs> oh, sorry. That surrounds Tourette Syndrome as a couple that date... As a couple... Ah. <laughs> as a couple, we both have Tourette Syndrome. And we both know the struggles of like, it's hard, it's heckin' hard. And disclaimer guys, being together triggers us to have more ticks. And so this could be a doozy. <laughs> when two people with Tourette's come together, the phenomenon of echolalia and echopraxia <sighs> often happen, which means we pick up each other's ticks, we play off each other's ticks. It can be a heckin' doozy. <sighs> so bear with us here. But in today's video, we're gonna do something highly, 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 highly requested. Something that you guys love when we do on my channel. Well, when I do. But I thought I'd bring my little fiancé. Fiancé, if little. you will. I thought I'd bring my heckin' handsome fiancé to react to some fake Tourette's with me. But we're only reacting to Ticks and Roses because they are the only one that I actually know is faking. Uh. And I never want to fake claim people that I don't know if they're not faking or if they are faking or whatever the case may be. So we're gonna react to Ticks and Roses. Babe, have you ever seen Ticks and Roses? <laughs> no, not yeah, so really? This is a blind reaction for him. We're going into it blind. I'm gonna find some videos that I have never seen and never should reacted I? to. Should I be worried for my, for my safety? You should be worried for your sanity after watching this. Okay. So, Ticks and Roses, as all of you guys probably know by now, was a TikToker who faked Tourette Syndrome and profited off of their diagnosis for, for like monetary gain and for like fame and fortune and oh my gosh, I'm popular because I have Tourette's when they didn't. So, we're gonna react to them and tell you guys our honest opinion. As two people who genuinely have Tourette's, we're gonna talk to you guys about how we feel Jeez. about the notorious oh. TikTok faker. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna react to the first video. Hey everyone, it's Emerald, and today I'm going to rate my most common ticks. The most common one right now is Beetle. Beetle! Um, like that. <laughs> Okay, thoughts here. All right, all right. If you're, so, so you're watching, you see my line of sight. I'm not watching this, but I'm listening. <laughs> right, so I'm just listening. <laughs> now, this person described a tick and then, <laughs> sorry, fuck off, sorry. Like a rice. Um, <laughs> okay. sorry. it's fine. So, so, I've only heard of Ticks and Roses in passing, and I haven't, I, I, like, like, I don't care to jump on band, bandwagons or whatever. Oh, 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 okay. But when you have a thing that is such a part of your life, <laughs> like, it affects you in subtle ways. Okay. So, if I ask my, my girl here, hey, um, do you, uh, if I mention rice. I got Rice. <laughs> exactly. I got rice. Okay, so if I mention a tick, it tr fuck off. It triggers rice. the tick. <laughs> okay, this person is. I, I I'm just kind of putting this together. I'm like, it doesn't affect us. Like 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 we, our ticks affect us. Yes, but we keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, it already feels like this person is forcing reactions. If that's a thing. What do you mean? Like forcing ticks or forcing like, mm. forcing like the aftermath of the tick? <laughs> Both. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> Don't throw bunches. Um, um. Bandana. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, so it already strikes me as like like forced. Yeah, like forced. Yeah. You know. You know. Yeah. So I agree that it feels like forced, and I always talk about this in my previous video. So I will link those in the description if you want to check out some of those of me talking about ticks and roses. But I always try and give them the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, maybe in some twisted reality, maybe they are not faking. But even letting like Will see this and from his first instinct is like, this is forced. It, and it like I feels, said, like- it, it, feel, it feels Hollywood. Yeah. Almost. And that's something that just bugs me because like as people who live it, Ugh. Sorry. It's, um, <laughs> it's, um, <sighs> Stormy! Sorry, sorry, Jeez, sorry, it's sorry. Like, it's good. <laughs> um, it's good. As people who live it, it's definitely, like, you're watching us right now. We look nothing like Ticks and Roses. Let's continue. <sighs> the Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Here we have again. Okay, so I'm not watching, just listening. listening. Okay, all right. If you know the tick is saying something 30 fucking times in a row, sorry. Um, <laughs> that was a tick. I love it. Uh, okay, if if you, stop. If you, if you, if you, if, 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 I got it, I got it. If you know the tick is a certain thing, and you try to imitate the tick, you're not gonna stop halfway. Like My that's... thing that I notice about them in this specific clip when they say hello, hello, hello like that, every hello is different. And and, and, and that's, that's something a lot of different people we've seen with Tourette's, like, like I've, I've, I've <laughs> seen a few other people with Tourette's, well, a few, many, plenty of other people with Tourette's, when when I'm talking fuck off <laughs> when I'm talking normally my voice is is one place but the ticks either there, yeah there's they tonal go, differences exactly yeah, yeah. exactly um and hmm. but with ticks and roses here every hello they say is it's hello, the same hello hello and they say it in different it, kind of um different stresses and different kind of sounds right. but for me if you guys I got rice. If you guys know, I'm just triggering myself. If you guys know why I got rice tick, it's the exact same every time. And that monotone, I got rice. I got rice. Like <laughs> right, right. Um, there, there's a like you're saying. There's 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 almost a tone for ticking. But also like yes. So sometimes when I say different ticks, I'll get a high pitched voice. I'll look up to a different left or whatever to the right or left. Um, but also it's almost like you know how with motor ticks they're often repetitive and like the same. Like I have this one where I do this. Mm -hmm. It's the same every time. It's almost the same with vocal ticks. You'll have, <sighs> you'll have the same tone, right. the same, it's muscle memory through vocal cords almost. Right, right. Yeah. And and, and it's, and, and you'll find it, <laughs> it doesn't vary. No, it, and that's immediately, and another thing I wanted to mention too, if this is okay, is when, when they say hello, 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 a lot of the time, they take short breaths between like hello 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 and it doesn't seem it doesn't seem legit it, it's it just seems like they've taken what they know about Tourette's I always say this in my videos they've taken what they know and very much they very much kind of s taken the stigma and the stereotype and amplified it in their own twisted way there it, it it reminds me like it it feels like like a like a similarity can be drawn you know uh, again, someone living with a disorder knows how it works and can pretty well spot a fake. And that's that's what we're seeing. It's because the natural person. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. The natural fuck off. Um, the nat fuck off. Sorry. The person who lives with a thing, they understand that it affects them, but they push through it. They it does. It, they they show the symptoms, but. It doesn't stop them, you know. Um, yeah. When I'm, when I'm, I'm. It's fine. It's fine. I don't 
throw punches. Okay. Um, as you're, you, you know, you see, oh, man, I am exhausted from suppressing. Yeah. Um, so, so you're seeing, you're seeing that we're, we're we are, we're taking actively. Um, but it's, we're still able to communicate. No we're still able to fuck off. Is we're still able to move forward with our, with yeah. our live. And with our conversation. It's right. not like we're stopping being like, did you see what I just did there? Like, ha ha ha. Like, it's like. Exa yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's what it feels like this person is doing. Uh, again, from the perspective of one person who is genuine and understands it versus another who is observing and attempting to replicate. Definitely. Let's continue. No. No, you don't. No. She's not even ticking. Um, my trans decided it was a really great idea and then whenever we saw someone with um, their mask under their nose, we just go, no, sir, no, no, sir, no, like that. Um, okay, all right. Um, okay. I've never seen these ones and this is hideous. Okay, all right, so watch this. I've never, like, like <laughs> right away. Uh, Sorry, it's fine. Car, car of everyone you do not apologize when you're with me Hello. um so so right there this person is saying um the way they replicated the way they described their tics one it's it, it it's next to shocking that it doesn't trigger fuck off sorry um fuck off it doesn't fuck it doesn't just die i'm um um it's 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 almost it's interesting that it that for this person it doesn't tr it, if this person were genuine it would be very interesting that talking about the ticks and describing them would not trigger said things i mean it's we're just, just we're just here interacting yeah and you can see we are fuck off sorry it's just interesting seeing them talk about it and while they're explaining the story they have no sign of ticks and all of their ticks seem to be vocal and, and and funny what was interesting just in this clip the way again with tone the way she said these things and the pacing of it um like if you if you have Tourette's you know <laughs> like like every time I'm saying anything verbal any of my ver vocal tics it is there is a specific pacing and tone to it it never ever it never changes off. it does and I really wish that like I feel like there should be more research into this. Yeah. Because it's, it's so common in people with tic disorders and Tourette's to have these like very specific tonal tendencies as well as like similar muscle memory and stuff. Like it's all very yeah. similar. It's interesting, like like what you said earlier, it's it's muscle memory, but with voice, inflection, tone, inflection, exactly. Timing, the the right. the, <laughs> the pacing. Stormy! Oh, fuck off. Um, it's exactly it's very it's, like this would be th th this feels like something very like like on a on a similar but different topic it's very like this is this it feels like this would be something very <laughs> interesting to do research on to just under help understand I don't know what more there is to understand but just something in the brain is clearly being affected right there there's <laughs> it's it's interesting just noting a person with Tourette's ability to perfectly replicate Ex a thing yeah. without, you're not putting conscious effort into no, it. No, there's no effort. It, it, and it's... that's where in this case there is effort and you can tell. Th Woo. Like that <laughs> sums up what I, what, the, the idea of of a person with, with something naturally versus someone who sees and applies. And replicates, emulates, not right, even right, replicates. Right, it, it's the one person is not putting in effort. Yeah. Like, like the effort I'm giving in my body right now is to not like to not tick is to not tick oh, yeah uh. 
and they're putting an effort to tick. Right. And it's like reverse almost. It's so that you are so smart because this is what I've been trying to like kind of put into words for so long is like there's something noticeably fake and this is it. Right. It, it, it's the it's, effort. It's the effort. It's where effort is applied. Uh, Carly and I right now, we are fuck off. Like a rice. <sighs> Sorry. Fuck Jean. off. Je um, bon bon. We are actively fucking off. Sorry. No. <laughs> Um, we are actively putting effort into suppressing mm -hmm. as best we can. Literally, our whole days are suppression. Um, like, but, it's, uh, it's all the time. Right, right, right. And and it's and so so we put effort into suppression, not into ticking. Mm -hmm. And the person who is not being genuine is putting effort into ticking, not suppressing. And they're tr they're like. I give them credit where credit is due. They try and make it seem legit because they're having sort of repetitive ticks. Like they're repeating the vocalization. They are kind of doing a neck jerk while they say these things. And so credit where credit is due. They've clearly seen people with Tourette's and have tried to emulate it. But as Will has said, literally they are doing a, like, as people with trust, we can see this very clearly <laughs> that they are just putting in effort in the wrong ways. So as I said, credit because they are ticking, but they're doing it wrong. And I don't think they know they're doing it wrong. And I don't think there's a way to actually do it right. If you don't have Tourette's like there's no way that you can do or a, or any other ticking disorder. Yes. Yes any other tick disorder in general, there is no way for you to truly know like the subtleties and the different kind of tonality and stuff. Right, like, right. There, there are, there are nuances yes. that are subtle and mini. And the thing is, like you said, we don't even know how we do it. Right, right. We're not putting in conscious effort. Like when I say I got rice, like when I say it, like if I'm just saying, hey guys, like I right got now. rice, right. it sounds nothing, I got rice, it sounds nothing like the tick version. Right. Um, and I don't even think I can even, I, I got, like, I got, I can't even make the voice. Like right. if I'm consciously thinking, I got, like, literally that is me trying, I got rice, that's, that was a tick, but when I try and do it, I yeah, can't yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah. Which is so weird. It's very interesting. Very weird. Yeah. Okay. So. We're going to watch one more little clip and then oh. we're going to be done. Okay, we'll make it through. And the guy can wear his nose, so I think I won. <laughs> this one you kind of have to watch, but you don't have yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. I don't, oh, now they're brushing their face with yep, their Yep, yep, I got it. I see it. Okay, we're done. All right. That so, is the last clip we're going to okay, watch. Okay, so so this this little clip touches more on motor tics. Yeah. Um, Which I don't see often from them. So, all right, this is, the, again, there's the, there's the natural versus the observed and replicated. Um, like... <laughs> so this, this clip touched more on motor tics that are intrusive. Uh, this, the, that felt like it could be more genuine because, because it's like, it, okay, if, in the person where it's not genuine, if you're willing to fake that, I mean, more power to you, oh, I guess. That would hurt. Right. Um, but. I don't know. Like that, that that's more believable. Right, right, right. Truly, that is more, that is more believable. Um. If, if that's the only evidence I had, like, toward them yay or nay, I'd give it a yay. Because it's like, motor tics, they, they can be intrusive in the way of, like, 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 in the sense of it's debilitating, it's... They clearly look distressed. Right, right. It's not like normal function, you know, you know, um, you know, you know. Like, hey, some of our motor tics, some of my motor tics is just flipping people off. Okay, fine. Mm. That's not super intrusive, but but I, for a while, for a long time, I was throwing, uh, I was throwing a right cross or just, just throwing a right punch and stuff. And it's like, okay, that is... 
like a race. Wildly, like like that's not good. Uh, that makes that makes. Uh, I was working at a kitchen, huh? Is that the comments? Oh, uh, um, I was working at a kitchen during this period where I had that tick, and it made kitchen work impossible. Mm -hmm. So so they're right. Yeah, motor ticks can be really hard. They can be debilitating. Um, it's like if like you said, if I had seen that clip. And I hadn't seen any other clip. Right. I would say, you know what? They probably do have Tourette's yeah, or tick disorder. Because, because it's it's uh, um, like my Tourette's has caused me to put my hand just just punch holes in walls. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not that I want to. It's just oh shoot! In a moment where I'm not suppressing, yeah. Bam! I always like to say like it's not because I want to. It's because I have to. Right. Because right. like, and it's not even because I have to. It's because my body just does it. Right. Like, it's not a. It's not a compulsion. No. It's just a do. Mm -hmm. Um. So that is an interesting. That is an interesting like point. Like like flip, flipping the coin over. There's a lot of evidence that says yeah, this person is easily faking. But there also is evidence that says hey, if that's the only thing I saw, that'd be a yay from me. Yeah. Um, and the truly. thing is too, like I totally agree. But as you guys know, I've seen a lot of other evidence, and they their family has come forward saying they are a fraud. Uh, um, so with all that, without that evidence, though, we ch were seeing that. Right, that's very it's interesting. It's like that's yeah. believable. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you know, but they have Huntington's disease, which can't be co-diagnosed with Tourette's. So that's like kind of the whole kind of. I had no idea. It's kind of the weird kind of um, drama per se oh. about it. So yeah. tons of drama about ticks and roses. Sure. Um, but. You know. Cool. Yeah. That's our reaction to Ticks and Roses. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is Will's first time seeing them. And these are our genuine thoughts as two people who live with <laughs> Tourette syndrome. Because it's on our it's our daily lives, guys. And so we hope you learned something. We hope that by watching us you can actually see like, yeah, this is what ticks are. Maybe you learned something. If you like this video though, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Share it with people if you want. Leave a comment down below saying hi to Will and I. <laughs> letting us <laughs> letting us know what you would like to see in future videos. Or letting us know if you agree or disagree with what we're saying. Like, let us know. We love to start a conversation. I read all the comments you guys comment. And I really love all of you. Again, if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. And ring the notification bell to stay tuned to content here at Ticking Together. Sometimes Will is here. I forgot to mention if you guys don't know him, we are long distance, so this is like a treat that he is here yeah. in Canada. So hopefully in the future we'll be together and we can be filming buddies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> As always, hello! Je t'aime. Fuck. Oh. I love this. So I'm not much. leaving that in. Please do that in. <laughs> As always, we're learning together, we're laughing together, and we're taking together. Bye! So, guys, um, Carly's not here. She's tending to the baby. We had a baby! Everyone, meet Huckvit. <laughs> He's our new son! We had a baby frog! <laughs> <laughs> well, son, congratulations! It's a frog! Congratulations! It's a frog! It's a frog. This is our baby Huckfit. Mm. Oh, brother. Okay, bye! Bye-bye. <laughs>